Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to our course Lexical Studies. Uh, today's topic is collocation semantics. In our previous lecture, we have talked about uh, collocations in greater detail. And today, we will discuss about collocations. What collocation is? Collocation, the word collocation derives from the Latin word colligare, meaning tie together. It refers to items which form a set of items with the syntactically identical properties. Syntactically means grammatically. In collocation, we have discussed the word or word expressions or multiple expressions or combination of different words, but we have discussed in under the headings of semantics or semantically. Here we will discuss colligation in under the heading of syntactic or syntax that is related to grammar it means we will discuss the word combination in grammatical point of view not grammatical point of view or simple grammar we will see here some other dimensions of the grammar that are related to this word colligation so <coughs> such items are said to colligate a careful definition of the colligation is here you can see a term for the process a result of grouping a set of words on the basis of their similarity in entering into syntagmatic grammatical relations crystal 2008. The term was first used in its linguistic sense by British linguist John Robert Firth or J.R. Firth as we have discussed in a collocation also under the heading of collocation who defined collocation as the interrelation of grammatical categories in syntactical structure collocation refers to the relations between words at the grammatical level the relations of a word in sentence classes or a similar category so in simple words we can say a colligation is a sets of items or sets of uh, some grammatical structures that we want to analyze or we want to see the relationship between different grammatical structures. Firth used the term to refer to the syntactic attraction between grammatical categories like parts of speech or syntactic fun functions or some other grammatical structure could also be analyzed in the collocations in under this term for example English verb budge budge means move move somewhere so budge is attracted to the construction model auxiliary verb budge plus will not budge or won't budge or will budge Sinclair the English phrase naked eye is often preceded by the preposition. So in English grammar, a collocation is a grouping of words based on the way they function in a syntactic structure, syntactic pattern or grammatical pattern, grammatical structure. As linguistic root or humor has absorbed what collocation is on a lexical level of analysis, colligation is on a syntactic level. For example, we analyze the words, we analyze the word into a vertical form. We change the word from, we change one word to another word, we change one verb to another verb in a vertical form. It's called collocation. Whereas in collocation, we go, we go straight from left to right. In collocation, we can go from top to bottom or bottom to or top. In collocation, we start from left to right. As English writing starts from left to right, so we start or we do analysis. We start our analysis from left to right. For example, subject or verb or some other grammatical elements that are analyzed in this concept of colligation. So a word colligation describes what it typically does grammatically. So I hope you will understand by these interpretations or definitions of the colligation in a simple words we can say we when we analyze the sentence structure or when we analyze 
the relationship of different background, different sets of grammatical structures, it's called colligation. And it's not related to simple grammar. It, there are some complicated or there are some advanced level of grammatical um, components also involved in this colligation. Here you can see some other examples of colligation. Please do not make so much noise. I'm trying to work, to work here. We are dealing, we are analyzing the word infinity. First form plus two. It's called infinity. Please do not make so much noise. I'm trying to work. Right? To work is infinity. Let's go out now. It's not raining anymore. It here the word it it's used as pronoun. You can turn off the radio. I'm not listening to it. Listening to listening to it too is a preposition here. I'm getting tired. I need a rest. Tired it's a adjective. So in colligation, infinity, pronoun, preposition, adjectives, and some other determinants you can also see here. Smoking can affect your health. It can make you sick. Also, effect is determiner. Every day, there are many important news, even in all the world. However, our focus is often on movie stars or other famous people. Here, focus is determiner. According to Bert, the statement of meaning at the grammatical level is term of word and sentence classes or of similar categories and of the interrelation of those categories in colligation. Grammatical relations should not be regarded as relation, relations between words such as between washed and him and I wash him, simple subject, verb or object. As we have discussed in previous slides, there are some more complicated grammatical elements also analyzed in this colligation. So, here we were. Yes, it's not a simple grammar or I watched him, but between a personal pronoun, first person singular nominative, the past tense of a transitive verb, and the third person singular also analyzed in the Paradigmatic relationship in collocation. In colligation, there are syntagmatic relationship. Whereas in collocation, as we have discussed collocation in our pre previous lectures, so far, so we can see there are some two types of relationship that are analyzed in collocation: paradigmatic uh, collocation from top to down, or from down to top. And in colligation, there are syntagmatic relationships from left to right. We proceed in this way. We analyze the sentence in this way. So paradigmatic relationship in collocation, take the sentence, he bought a hat. In this sentence, hat can be replaced by almost any noun, but it must be a noun. A noun can be replaced by another noun, or a verb can be replaced by another verb or adjective if there are adjectives. So they could be replaced by some other adjectives or adverbs, etc. So he sold a hat, he bought a car, he stole a gadget. We can change he bought a car or he bought a hat or he stole a car. In this way, we can interchange. But when we are in the process of changing or analyzing the words, we must keep in our mind that verb must be replaced by some other verb. We cannot say verb can we cannot replace verb with another adverb or we cannot replace adverb with noun or we cannot replace noun with adjective. So we must be conscious in this regard. Next syntagmatic relationship in collocation. So previously in previous uh, slide we have discussed paradigmatic relationship that was in collocation, whereas in colligation it's a syntagmatic relationship from syntagmatic relationship from left to right. He sold a hat, he bought a car, he stole a gadget. This describes the relationship between he sold and a hat in sentence one, he bought and a car in sentence two, and he stole and a gadget in sentence three. These relationships work horizontally. 
horizon tree me like horizon from left to right or from left, uh, right to left this way we go in the, when we talk about this term or this notion or concept of horizon so these are relationship work horizontally between verbs subject use verbs verbs sometimes take objects adjectives modify nouns adverbs modify verbs and so on so the relationship is to do with syntax syntax mean relationship this name indicates here you can see a diagram that uh, i have designed to facilitate you so that you can understand it easily what is the difference between paradigmatic collocation and syntagmatic colligation so paradigmatic collocation it's a vertical form like he sold the head we have to come from top to down we have to analyze we want to analyze the relationship of the words or in a semantic sense we will come from top to down like he sold a hat we can say she bought a car and we can change they stole a gadget so verb can replace by another verb noun can replace by another noun or subject can replace by another subject whereas in colligation syntagmatic colligation is a horizontal form horizon like he sold a hat first of all we need to put here subject then we must put the uh sorry verb and then ob an object so this sequence will be remain in the, without any change firstly we need to put the subject then verb and then object or object one or object two or complement or determiners or adjectives so what so far the sequence will remain same here we can not move we cannot change this sequence that is uh, necessary to make the sentence uh, sensible or to make the communication easier so in syntagmatic collocation we move from left to right but without changing the sequence of the structure he sold a hat right he she bought a car Oh, this whole a gadget. We move from left to right in horizontal form in syntagmatic colors. Here, in other diagram, you can see to understand this uh, view of syntagmatic or horizontal relationship in a better way. It uh, writhes on the ground in excruciating pain. So it writes. It's a past tense or verb. Or on the ground, it's a object or excruciating pain, adjective, etc. We move from left to right. Next, there is a paradigmatic or substitutions, vertical dimension. Upward in syntagmatic, it's a horizontal relationship. Whereas in paradigmatic relationship, vertical dimension. My auntie has bought a red automobile. My uncle. sold green car we can say my auntie has sold green car my uncle bought a red automobile we can move from up to down or from down to up we can change but be careful regarding the replacement of the words or replacement of the components it must be in in the sequence so verb must be replaced by verb or we are, we want to change the noun you want to change it must be another noun in place of our noun rejective or adverb so paradigm 1 we can say my paradigm 2 auntie has uncle cousin mother with man these are the nouns or bought sold purchased hired paradigm 3 is a verb right or tense either past tense red green black black this is a paradigm 4 right for auto car for this are also another paradigm we can say paradigm 5 so i hope you understand it very well so there are some other examples of grammatical elements in collocation that are being used and analyzed a sentence structure in a sense of collocation so other kinds of collocation might be a preferences for a particular verb tense 
of tenses, the past tense, present tense, future tense, as you know, all ten, you know all about the tenses. Negative particles. Uh, negative particles means a word which indicates negativity or negative adverb. So, word that indicates negativity, uh, in a sense we can say not, the word not, or cannot, do, did not, do not, have not, will not, or the word nothing, or nobody, etc. These are called negative part particles. Model verbs, auxiliary verbs, which may say helping verbs, will not, will, shall, has, have, had, or is, am, are, was, were. These are the model verbs, auxiliary verbs called participles. Participle is a word that is made from a verb and used as an adjective like uh, working women or sleeping dogs, burn toast. These are the particle participles made from a verb but used as an adjective than other clauses and so on. The notion that words may prefer or indeed avoid particular position in text. So we sometimes we want to prefer a sentence structure or sometimes we want to avoid that is not uh, relevant and that is not correct. We want to avoid that structure. For example, in the sequence of the sentence structure is uh, like so first of all, there is a subject, then is a verb, then is a object or complement or adverb. So then sequence must be here in this way and we want to avoid when the sequence is disturbed or we want to prefer when the sequence is accurately and used according to the sentence structure. So we want to prefer or we want to avoid, avoid from incorrect sentence structure or incorrect elements of the grammar or we want to prefer that is exactly a, the right or proper usage of those elements. Colligation and verb of perceptions also included in the colligation. So the class of verbs of perception such as hear, notice, see, watch, we want to know and we want to get knowledge about other things only we want to get other information by using these our senses or perceptions so these words here notice see watch enters into colligation with the sequence of object either the bare infinitive or the ing form we heard the visitors leave leaving bare infinitive leave the word you a verb is used as infinitive or plus ing form we noticed him walk away walking away so walk away it's a bare infinity without ing form or without uh, putting to to walk walk away we heard parody sing singing we heard parody it's the name of the singer sing or sing is a bare infinity or singing is a ing form we saw it fall or falling. Fall here we use as a bare infinity without putting to to fall. We saw it to fall. Rather, we saw it fall and falling, which you can use alternatively because there is a slash. We can use both. So, in one situation, we can use fall, or in other situation, we can use falling. Both are right. We cannot say these are the wrong. So the term collocation is far less in general than the contrasting term collocation. So it's a far less general. It's a specific collocation. We can use that term in a general way. But collocation we use in a particular way. So it's end of our today's lecture.